Hello guys, this is Red from Red Star Dimension Gaming, and today I'm bringing you a review on Hatsune Miku Project Diva X. Once again, Sega has graced our eyes with a new Hatsune Miku game. The popularity of the series outside of Japan has grown over the past few years, and fans of the series should be happy to receive this new entry in the series labeled as Hatsune Miku Project Diva X for the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita. As players sing through the newly added story mode, they will notice the five cloud prisms. Each cloud prism represents its own aura, classic, cool, cute, elegant, and quirky. After completing the several songs within the prism that you choose, it will be recharged and players can unlock a new cloud prism. So this is what the story is so far. These clouds have gone dark, the cloud prisms. Players must help Miku and the other divas sing in order to restore the energy inside of each prism. The divas do this by creating the required voltage for each song. So basically, all the clouds are dark, you gotta restore their energy. And that's all I'm gonna give away. The story is not very deep and lacks a lot of voice acting, which I was surprised because the voices are all in Japanese in the game. Why is there no voice acting? It's just weird that there's no voice acting at all. But overall, it is a nice new feature to the game that they actually included a story mode. I'd like to see the developers create a more intriguing plot next time and add some voice acting for all the lines. The game has English subtitles that can be switched to Japanese subtitles, but there is no option for Japanese or English voices at all. It also takes around 4-5 to five hours to recharge all the cloud prisms, depending on how many times you play each song or are customizing your character. Hatsune Miku Project Diva X does away with the music videos and creates a live concert feel with its gameplay. These performances are gorgeous to watch and there is usually a lot of action. Instead of being your typical easy rhythmic game, this game makes you earn all your points and items. Throughout a performance, players must fill up a star, and once it is, they will be given chance time to click either on the touchpad or tap on the left analog stick in order to transform. The transformation will allow you to unlock new concert outfits and is very distracting. Often my eyes were impressed with the visuals and all of the actions happening in the concert. The 60 frames per second and the full 1080p HD on my TV was probably what was making my eyes hurt. I was not used to this. It looks really good. It is a gorgeous game and is better looking than any of the previous games that were available on the PlayStation 3. One thing I do want to say about this is my friend said Project Diva Future Tone is actually better looking but I haven't seen the game personally and it's not out in the US so I'll have to leave that to you guys if you guys think that Future Tone is better looking then write it in the comments below. The game features four modes of difficulty. Higher difficulties include the W button pressing and also multiple button presses. So when you're on easy, it's just circle. And then when you're on normal, it adds X and the W button pressing. And then when you're on the higher difficulties, it adds like a third option. And then there's four buttons on at once when you're on the hardest mode. The on-screen command represents the color and the direction of where a particular DualShock 4 controller's button is on the controller. For instance, X would be blue and down. That's what you would press whenever this appears on the screen. It'll be the color and the direction is what it will show on the screen. And most of the time, I would press it, but it doesn't always lock in or maybe I'm just too slow. It's very hard to do when you're pressing all these buttons, 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 and then boom. You have to press that at the same time as another button, and yeah, I just couldn't do it. So I had to play on the easier mode, which is still fun. These can be confusing for novices to the genre, but are manageable. The biggest problem I had was using the touchpad and it not always registering when I tapped it. Like I'd be sliding it as soon as a star appears on the screen and it didn't always work. Thankfully, the game allows players to tap the left analog stick in exchange for the touchpad. So you don't have to use the touchpad if you don't want, you just tap that analog stick when a star appears. So that's useful. 
which that didn't always register either when I had the uh, transformation star. As a whole, the gameplay is top notch and rewards players with presents, accessories, and outfit modules. Looking through all the unlockable accessories and spinning yourself around, taking a good look at them, takes about 10 minutes for every single accessory. If you thought that was a lot, there are over 20 minutes of watch time to see all of the outfits in the game for just one of the many characters. And there is a lot. This provides for a lot of replayability as fans of this series will most likely want to unlock all of the costumes and accessories available. The presents that are given to you for completing concerts are for you to give to your several characters. Hatsune Miku, Kajimin Rin, Kajimin Len, Kaito, Medjurin, Luka, and Maiko. Please forgive me if I butchered any of those names, I'm trying the best I can. There will also be DLC characters too for this game. At least there were in Japan anyways. If given the right present, the love meter will go up and provide the better results in concerts. Hatsune Miku Project Diva X also features an editor mode where players can create their own concerts with moves, songs, effects, and more. So you're like a producer of your own little music video concert. This feature is for the more skilled and diehard fans of the series. Another in-game feature is a camera mode where players can set up their favorite Project Diva X characters and take pictures of or with them. Players can either upload an image off of a USB or use the PlayStation camera to take their picture with the characters, which I actually did. I'll probably put it in this video. There is also a free mode, which I am sure most of the players of the series are accustomed to. So I'm not going to explain that. Finally, the music is fantastic. Although I did not enjoy the opening cutscenes music, I just I couldn't get on board with the opening cutscenes music at all. I really thought the rest of the game had a large variety of J-pop music. There were even a few songs that I actually heard before, and I'm not the biggest J-pop music listener fan. I don't listen to it all the time, and I actually heard some of the songs. Whether it's through commercials, or just somewhere on a movie I've seen before, I've heard of some of these. The Vita version of this game also has more touchscreen features, but they tend to work better on the PSV than they do on the PlayStation 4's touchpad. So if you want touchscreen innovation, you might want to go for the Vita version, which I've heard looks really good. Overall, Hatsune Miku Project Diva X features some of the best music, graphics, and gameplay in the series. The forgettable and uninspiringly new story mode is something that could use a lot of improvement. There are a lot of unlockables and replayability that will have players coming back for more. I give this game a 9 out of 10. People who come to these games for its rhythmic gameplay and cute girls will enjoy this game. The story is missing a lot of effort on the developer's part, but that was never the main focus for this series. So that's the only reason why I'm taking off points for that, because of the story. And on the PlayStation 4, the game crashed on me two times. And this was while saving one of my costume outfits as a favor, and it just crashed. I don't know why, but that's just what happened. If you guys would like to read my full written review, you can go down to the link below in the description for my blog. If you'd like to buy the game and also help support my channel, you can use the Amazon link below or the PlayAsia link below. And if you use the code on PlayAsia R3D, you'll get $3 off. Finally, I have a walkthrough series that I'm doing on this game without the music because of copyright reasons that you can check out also. That should be in the little card I button above if you want to check that out and you can subscribe for more content. Also, thank you to my one patron on Patreon, Mike Shadow 24 This is your shout out of the month and thank you for supporting me. If, if anyone else would like a shout out or exclusive content on my Patreon page, you can go there. You can support me on there if you want. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget the thumbs up, comment below and subscribe and see ya.